Hello, hello everybody. And today I want to talk about what I think is probably, other than the nitrogen cycle, the most important aspect to keeping a healthy shrimp tank and even especially fish tank. So let me tell you. Doing what I do, I have the opportunity to discuss a lot of fish tank and shrimp tank problems with people. I mean, be it in people I know in day-to-day -day life. <laughs> Hey, you know, what's wrong with this? You know, I get asked all kinds of questions and of course, selling my shrimp and guppies on my website and helping people out through this channel. I deal with helping lots and lots of people with their shrimp and fish tanks. And I think the biggest issue that comes up is sick critters, be it shrimp, fish, what have you. So I'm going to discuss some, I don't want to call it proper practices, but some things you need to be aware of, like for me, I just got these, I just set up these new tanks and I've, these are the first new Neos I've had in like five or six years. And so I was pretty nervous. And so I've, I've taken steps to quarantine and isolate these guys from other tanks. Now these are from, all three of these lines are from home breeders. So I wasn't really too worried, but the source, we're still late and there's a delay. The source of these shrimp will be from imported shrimp, yes. I'm going to get some imports, but I wanted to make sure I isolated that from my other tanks. And I've had about a month of practice here since I've had these guys and look how good they're doing. Little red riding hoods. I'm really loving these shrimp so far. We've got lots of saddled girls that are growing up, about to be buried, hopefully. But I've been using these tanks, even though I'm sure these guys are fine. And I, I'm getting these guys, they're gonna be a reputable. There's people who do importing better than others and I feel confident that I am getting shrimp from a pretty trusted seller. You know, they will be imports, but because they're imports, I am gonna to go to great lengths. Like I said, I've been using these guys as a practice run on my sanitation process. Let me show you what I do. So I've changed all the water in all my existing tanks. That's the first thing I do. So now, after all the old tanks are done, now we're gonna get to this. Well, I'm changing the water on these tanks and adjusting the spray bars. I want, to I want to explain to you why this is so important. So throughout the course of helping people, you get the, every time you get something new, so if you have a tank and you have three different sources, of your critters and plants every time you add a different source you're adding additional worries in now some are going to be more likely than others to be healthy than, than not and it depends on who you're getting it from mostly but being homebred and being imported so that's why i want to try to take the extra steps and precautions to make sure i do this because i've seen it so many times i got these fish i got these fish i got these shrimp i got this from this and th these plants from here and it all goes to crap. All it takes is one sick fish or one plant with something on it that you don't want. And now you got it. So that's why we need to quarantine. With me being a breeder, I naturally have a built-in quarantine because I buy something to put in this tank and that's what's gonna live in that tank. But if you have a community tank or something like that, you need to make sure you take steps to quarantine your critters before you add them into the general population. Okay, we got it all stirred up a little bit, messing around and changing the angle of the spray bars. We got a lot of surface agitation. Some of these tanks were getting like a scum on the surface, so that's why I want to do that. The shrimp seem to be doing just fine. All right, so when we get to doing, when we have shrimp in this tank, the shrimp I was talking about earlier, I will do all three of these tanks because these tanks, I'm 99% sure they're fine. And then this one, which will be the questionable shrimp, will do that one last. So first of all, I do all my other tanks first. And then I will do these three tanks. And then I will do this tank. And then let's go disinfect. I'll show you what I'm doing. All right. So the first thing we're doing, we're in my bathtub with a five gallon bucket. Then we have this stuff, bleach. And we're just going to put a little splash in. Just like that. 
Then we'll let this bucket fill up. And then we'll suck it out, the, suck it through the hose and back into the sink. And notice how every part that I use and comes in contact with with the other tank water is going to be in the bleach solution. And so now we're here at the sink attachment and we're sucking out that scalding hot bleach water all the way through the hose. So another thing is now we're at the rinse and out stage, but I would also, if I had any nets, specimen containers, anything else like that, that would be in the bucket as well right now. So this doesn't always have to be when you get brand new stuff or if you have a sick tank and you want to keep it separate from your other ones. I've done this three or four times now and it does good. So I do my water changes every week. And so then the next time this is used, I'm going to let this flush out for probably 20 minutes and that'll, that's it. I mean, I, went, I was a little bit worried about harmful stuff being left behind in the hose for the bleach, but it's going to be a whole other week till this is used and chlorine will evaporate. It's just chlorine bleach. So I think this will work pretty good. All right, everyone. I just wanted to show you guys what I do. I'd say probably best practice would be to use separate hoses, but my space is limited. I, don't, I got hoses going everywhere. So I am choosing to go this route. I just, the whole point of this video is not how I disinfect or do that. I just want everyone to realize that you need to keep your critters, your new critters separate from your existing critters, whether it be shrimp, fish, plants, what have you. And then to make sure we're not cross contaminating our existing tanks by using the same hoses and nets and stuff like that. So hopefully this video was a gentle reminder to some of you <laughs> or just something you never thought of before to, wow. Every time I get something new, I'm at the risk of messing things up. So I need to be really careful, not just willy nilly throw stuff into my tanks. So hopefully that helps, this helps someone. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.